Be warned. My friends, the storm is here. Do you see the truth right in front of you? The storm clouds are all around us. The rain has begun to fall. The wind is howling. The time is late. The night is far spent. Are you going to get on the ark? For those of you who may not be religious, may not be versed in what the Bible says, in the book of Genesis, God told a man named Noah to build an ark and to prepare for the flood waters because he was going to destroy all of mankind. And afterwards, God gave Noah a rainbow to signify that he would never flood the earth in that way again and destroy all of mankind. But the truth is, this earth will be destroyed again one day, but it's going to be destroyed by fire. When Jesus was here on this earth, he said, as in the days of Noah, so it shall be. And these are the times that we're living in, the days of Noah, where wrong has become right, right has become wrong, up has become down, down has become sideways. The love of many has waxed cold. Our conscience has become seared. We've become reprobates in our sin. We don't feel conviction of sin anymore because sin has become normalized throughout society in such a way that we overlook it completely and it's become a part of us. We no longer feel two ways about it. We are singular in our sin and our eyes are on our own passions, pursuits, and lusts. But the time is late. The storm clouds are all around us. Do you not hear the voice of God crying out to us to come home, to find life in Jesus, to confess with your mouth that he's Lord, and to believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, to know that the Son of God King of kings and Lord of lords, he died on a cross for you. He was raised on the third day. He's coming back, and when he comes back, the storm clouds are going to be under his feet, and he will destroy this world with fire. And he will rebuild. He's going to make a new heaven and a new earth, and those who are his are going to reign with him forever. But you have to choose wisely. You have to make your choice known. Are you going to live in the pleasures of sin and be a friend of the world? Or are you going to turn your back on that sin forever and walk towards the face of God and find life in Jesus? There is no other option. A friend of the world is an enemy of God. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, you can be made a friend of God. You can be reconciled to the Father. He'll wrap you in a robe of righteousness. The storm is here. Make your choice. Make your choice. Repent for your sin. You will not miss anything in that life of sin. You are not going to regret running to Jesus and finding life in Him. You will not find peace in this world. There is no peace for the wicked. Without Jesus, that's what we are. But mercy has been extended to you. We have time. There is a power moving through this land that's not of God. It's full of darkness. And hearts and minds are being taken into this hurricane of confusion. And I wrote about this confusion when I was 15 years old. The Lord spoke to me of a coming storm in 2001. He said it would be a hurricane moving over land. And that's what we have now. We have this storm that's here, confusing the minds and the hearts of so many. And we're becoming lost. We can't see. We can't hear. All we know is wickedness. But I'm here to wake you up and say the light of Christ can pick you up from that pit can help you to see once again the truth, can help you to hear the voice of God, can help you to know His peace in a way that you've never known. You have to make your choice. Repent for the kingdom of God has come near to you.